Look at the size of her! She just jumped right into the water, scattering salmon everywhere. And she's got one. She's got her first fish. Look at that. So much bulk, strength and power. But in the end, you're going to need skill and accuracy to snare a slippery salmon. You see her shredding that red salmon meat. But it has really, really strong, powerful teeth, great for catching their food. And remember, that's a very slippery fish. Okay, the two cubs, they're still quite young. I mean, these would actually have been born right at the beginning of this year, and they still have quite a little bit of white around the collar. And they're not quite sure, but they're gonna come in and she's gonna allow them to have some food any second now. They are so cute. I don't believe how quickly this has happened. This is just unbelievable. See, the cubs are actually just practicing their fishing. They're certainly not as good as mum, though. This is one of the great wildlife sites you'll find anywhere in the world. The grizzly bear buys with the polar bear for the title of the largest land carnivore. And it's such an impressive, massive, bulky, powerful animal. But yet they can run and move surprisingly quickly. They've been clock running as fast as 35 and even possibly 40 miles an hour. So now I think you can see why grizzly bears have to be on a deadly 60. I mean, even though they spend so much of their lives just feeding on things like berries, insects, moths, when they have the opportunity, when the food is there, when the salmon are running, they are so efficient. And she's going in for another one. Look at that. Look at the weight of her. The water just erupts as she leaps in. And she's got another one. Absolutely perfect. The grizzly bear has a long dog-like muzzle, 42 teeth. The front ones, the sharp canines, are used for snaring those fish. And remember, this is a very, very fast-moving and slippery fish. So it really needs to be snagged with incredible precision. And then the rear teeth, the crunching cheek teeth, are used to munch it down and she can shred even a huge salmon and eat it within a minute or two. Going in for another go. Here she goes, she's wading in. I mean, these are really, really large animals. So they need a lot of food and particularly now in the summer when they're fattening up. The nose has gone into the water, she's sniffing around, locating the fish and completely immersing herself. Look at that, and another one! Three hunts, three fish! And the youngsters are just standing back and letting mum do all the work. Wow, wow.